We're now going inside out and bringing in SNY NBA insider Ian Begley joining us from Madison Square Garden. And Ian, we've recapped some bad losses for this club over the years, but up 17 in the third. How did this one go from potentially an impressive fifth straight win for the Knicks to a heartbreaking loss? Yeah, they let Milwaukee get hot from beyond the arc, Amen. I mean, the, the fourth quarter, they really got going. But it started late third when you saw Pat Connaughton and you saw Joe Ingles get going. And they hit open threes. They hit contested threes. And Milwaukee seemed to get more comfortable from beyond the arc at that point. And that continued in the fourth. And, you know, Tom Thibodeau said before the game in today's NBA, you know, no lead is safe. The Knicks had been playing stronger with leads of late, but they clearly reverted back to that early Nick form with the lead, not playing strong enough with the ball, and Drew Holiday getting it done late, uh, the defense slowing down, and a, a Nick loss, and sl st excuse me, stopping this four-game winning streak. Maybe they'll start another streak here. We go winning streak and losing streak with this team lately. It has been a roller coaster, and eight three-pointers for the Bucks in that fourth quarter, and this one's really a double whammy because the loss comes despite a career-high 44 points from Jalen Brunson, so that effort's wasted. But, Ian, what impressed you the most about Brunson's ability to create his own shot? Oh, scoring it well in the fourth quarter. I mean, 18 in the fourth, kept the Knicks in this game. They were a missed free throw from having a chance to tie the game. Brunson kept them in it all night. And, you know, you talk about his contract, 100 million plus. A lot of people question it in the offseason, but he's worth every penny, at least so far, as a Nick. His first 41 games as a Nick, very strong for Jalen Brunson. And now Brunson and the Knicks will try to, as you mentioned, Ian, start another winning streak against the Pacers. Ian Begley, thanks for joining us from Madison Square Garden.